Royalty is sitting right next to us at the moment. I'd like to introduce everyone to Sally Fitzgibbons. Good morning. Oh, good morning, guys. <laughs> so stoked to be here. Now, you are here. Um, you're, you're not a Gold Coast surfer. You're from down the Gong Way. Uh, well, in Gong Way, but you were here because you were an ambassador for Jewel, which is pretty much the most exciting thing to happen on the Gold Coast for a long time. It's the first residential building to be built on the beach, and you've bought an apartment in it already. I have, so South Coast born and bred, like that's still home, but um, Jewel's going to be that home away from home, and I've spent so many years up here on the Gold Coast and, you know, doing the pilgrimage, you know, you, the, uh, the parents would pack all the kids in the car and away we go we'll drive all the way up here for um you know surfing events and just uh, i guess to live and breathe the uh, the sunshine and the surf well mate, i love that story this morning that you, you jumped out of bed ran down had a surf and realized i don't know where i'm staying at the moment oh, <laughs> i was lost. so excited i <laughs> sprang out of bed wetsuit was on and i started sprinting down the street and i was like Somewhere between Kairoa Surf Club and uh, one of the lifeguard towers, I was like, oh, yeah. I guess this will do. Yeah, you know what? I know uh, Brazilian guys that have been here for three years doing that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> they don't care. How do you find our surf? Reggie, our surf reporter, has uh, been a bit sad of late because there's not been the best surf on the coast. Uh, I've heard it's been a little bit lackluster, but um, there was some little two-footers this morning and it's just a beautiful morning. You know, everyone, that, that kind of hive of energy and exercise and start, people start walking along the beach and... Um, I kind of think it's like little hermit crabs. Everyone comes out of the woodwork and just goes, wow, what a stunning day. There's been some breaking news that there's been a shark attack down Byron Way. A man's been bitten on his leg. He's okay. Um, but we just saw that come up on the news as you walked in. Just I'm as like, you sat down. Perfect opportunity to ask you, a world-class surfer, have you ever um, encountered sharks in all your years? Oh, that's so heavy. Like That's one of my favourite spots to surf, a broken head. and um, Usually quite crowded and it's oh, such a tough situation. Like, you don't want anyone to be harmed, and you don't want obviously our animals to be harmed. So, it's um, in that instance, yeah, I have seen a couple in my time in the water. And mm-hmm. what happens when you do? Oh, the heart rate, the heart jumps out of the, the <laughs> chest, and you've never paddled fast enough. Far out, you just want to get out of the water. So, does do the professional surfers have a theory on why all of a sudden one particular part of the world is just lit up for attacks from Ballina up to Byron? We're seeing it a lot. Is there, there theories amongst the pros? Oh, I think there just must be some sort of balance in the ecosystem. Um, you know, enough food, not enough food, and mm-hmm. um, I'm not I'm not too sure. But I guess with you know more and more media channels, it's just more prevalent that we're going to see yeah, right. every time an attack happens. Yeah. It's right in our face. Maybe so. it's just a shark-based hippie cult. I don't know. Well, <laughs> you know, if you watch Finding Nemo, sharks aren't eating fish anymore because they're friends. Yeah. So yeah, right. We're exactly. apparently yeah. not. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> look, I just want to talk a little bit about what I know about you. Um, you know, research you before you came in here. Um, you have the Sally Fitzgibbons Foundation, uh, inspiring the next generation to get fit. You've got a foundation gala dinner. Um, you're getting married to an NRL player, mm-hmm. Trent Merrin. Uh, and uh, apparently when he proposed to you, he said you have to support the Panthers. Is that true? <laughs> Was that <laughs> true that I read? <laughs> they are all true facts. Um, and very exciting <laughs> times, um, I guess, in my life at the moment. And I guess it's uh, it's that chapter where I am really inspired both on and off the board. And um, and I'm just you know inspired to grow not only Fitzgibbons International, but just kind of leave my little footprint and help where I can along the way. Well, that's, that's huge. Tell us about that. How did that start? Oh, I think that the vision to sort of say, well, my time in the jersey, I never lose the desire to chase this world title. And I train harder and harder each year. But um, even when I think, you know, this Friday we have the celebration of Women in Surf Gala Night uh, in aid of the Sally Fitzgibbons Foundation. And and it is a proud moment for me. All these are, are big milestones. And um, Jules come on as a partner uh, for the night. And it's like our sport, I see so many sports, they pay homage to their legends and and amazing moments that have inspired me as an athlete, and uh, I definitely I wanted to do that in women's surfing because we don't do it. You credit to yourself, you kid. I, I really yeah. do believe that. I just got back from Hawaii. The guys have heard a lot about it, and I made damn sure when I was in Hawaii that I made a comeback to surfing, but I did it on the side of the island where there's no surf at all. Because <laughs> on the other side of Maui is Jaws, and it's just monstrous. <laughs> like it's monstrous surf. How do you deal with that kind of fright, that kind of fear? What goes through your mind when you're looking out at it? Yeah, 10, kids 12 are, foot yeah, wide? Yeah, kids are so. listening and they want to pick up a board and they're scared. What do you do? Oh, for sure. We're actually heading to Maui 
know, we've got our last event in uh, just a couple of weeks. Awesome. So all those fears, I think, for all the Grommies picking up their board and saying, oh, you know, I am frightened of being in the water or, you know, being caught under the water, getting tossed around in, um, in the white water. And you say to them, well, you know, we all feel those fears as well, but it's about becoming comfortable in that uncomfortable and, yeah, okay. and uh, just finding your own connection with the ocean. But we do so much training that enables us to be confident in those right. situations. Well, as I drove down that dirt track through the cane fields down the Jaws <laughs> and I felt and I thought about all the great surfers that have been down that road, I realised I'm not one of them and I turned around. <laughs> <laughs> it gives you chicken skin though just it thinking does. about. Look, I've got it, I've got it right now. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. a frightening place. Well, oh. Sal, thank you so much for joining us and talking about Jewel.